Hello from the court here at Rupp Arena, where I, Drew Franklin, and with my good friends Jack Pilgrim and Zach Gagan, the KSR basketball team here, where Kentucky just beat Kentucky State 111 to 53 in the final exhibition game of the preseason. Jacob Toppin and Antonio Reeves are the high scorers. They get over 20 points. You had CJ Frederick with 14. Much better offensive night than we saw uh, in the last game against Missouri Western. Jack, I'll start with you. What is one of your main takeaways as we do our rapid reaction here from a pristine location on the court? Well, we talked, uh, Zach and I talked a little bit during the game. I might have a hot take. Is CJ Frederick maybe the second best player on the team behind Oscar? Is that hot take? Is this a little too early for it? Because, look, the guy is a knockdown shooter again, three, four. I think he's 69% from three uh, to start the Kentucky's exhibition, uh, I guess, the three, three exhibition games. He's uh, 69% from three. But it's not even that that's impressing Coach Cal. He called him a special player at the Missouri Western game because of all the other stuff that he does. He dies for loose balls. He gives energy plays. He plays defense. He does all the stuff tonight. It was about uh, his pick and roll and, and just how impressive he is uh, with that. He had, uh, I think, a team high six assists tonight. So uh, it just feels like everything C.J. Frederick does is, is right, and the team is better with him on, on the floor than they are without him. To your point, I was surprised Cal Perry in the press conference. Normally this time of the year, even when guys have a good game, he tries to bring them down and give them something to work on. But he really raved about C.J. Frederick, how good he looked in both these exhibition games. Tonight, specifically, he talks about him coming off the pick and roll. I don't know if he had seen that as much as practice. We are not really going against other opponents, but he liked what he saw out of him tonight. And then the other shooter on the team, Reeves, as I mentioned, leading scorer with 24 points, 23 points. He was cold in the first exhibition. But Zach, tonight, we finally got to see that shot go in for Reeves, who I think is going to be one of the leading scorers on the team. Yeah, it was very easy for him tonight, especially with he was just popping open. It's nice having him and CJ on the floor at the same time because uh, this floor is just really spaced open. There's a lot of quick hitters, transition threes, things like that. Uh, he just looked really comfortable. He was getting to the rim a lot easier, too. Uh, you can maybe chalk it up to K Kentucky State's defense, but at the same time, Antonio was really just ripping through all of them, uh, going one-on-one, -on -one, playing really well. And kind of back to the CJ thing, Lance actually said uh, in the post game that even he has never seen CJ throw passes like that or even make those left-handed layups. He said he'd never seen it once, even in practice or anything before. So it was new to a guy like him as well. So. Especially for him, getting out here, running on those legs again, getting full speed. He's been gone for so long. Some guys are just gamers, Jack. You're a gamer. Look at you down here. We're like, uh, I kind of feel like the old news anchor. Not old, I don't want to say that. People still do it. But, you know, Cutler <laughs> would be down here. And I always think that looks so cool. They get to do video down there. Look and now us. we're Look doing it. This. I need a this mic. Is, this is amazing. We got a little, we, we, this, whatever that is. This is the future. This uh, is the we future. feel professional right now. Absolutely. Anyway, what were we talking about? Reeves, I, I, somebody. Reeves, I think CJ. it's time. I think it's time. Well, we talked about Reeves. We talked about CJ. We got to talk about Casey Wallace making his point guard debut. I thought, you know, clearly rough shooting night, uh, you know, working through some things, you know, got a little triggered happy at times. But I thought for the most part, guys, he I thought he looked really good, especially defensively. It's kind of what he's known for. Blocked a couple shots at the rim. I think he finished with three steals. But he does so much all around uh, that just, I mean, he impacts when he's a guy that, that he's going to you know do all that, you know, the, the tough die for loose balls, things like that uh, and I think he's going to be a guy we heard Cal say after the last game he's going to be a guy that plays a ton of minutes uh, and I think tonight proved again why um, you know Savir Wheeler you need him on the floor he's he's you know preseason all first team all SEC he does all those things right but this is a cool opportunity for the other guys to figure out what they are as players and I think Kaysen is a, as a point guard it, it was a great opportunity for him. We love some Kaysen Wallace another guy who gets to prove who he is at this point still struggling with the name Ugana and Yenzo. Perfect. We're going to go Ugo. I'm Uga. trying. Yeah. Game Excellent. two. Excellent. We're still learning. But with Oscar being out, another big opportunity for him. Had another big shot blocking night. Uh, one piece of news on Oscar. Cal said he does not expect him Monday and probably not Friday when they play Duquesne. So likely missing Oscar the first two games as he recovers from that knee procedure he had a few weeks ago. But your boy Ugo, it's a big chance for him these last two games and two more, it looks like. Yeah, Cal even said in the post-game press conference that the, one of the good things that's come out of Oscar's injuries, he actually gets to see Ugana go out and play these big minutes. I think he had 11 rebounds, uh, four blocks, went to the line a few times. So he's playing really well. Uh, raw offensively, uh, kind of around the basket, but when he is ready to block shots, there's not a better guy on the team. Uh, Lance talked about how he's helped him as well. Uh, you know, 
just shoot over a seven footer and practice is making things a lot difficult uh, for everyone. So his improvement, just he just kind of keeps showing new things every game. And uh, I think he's probably in line to maybe actually receive some minutes as the regular season. I didn't think I would say that, you know, two weeks ago, but I think we're getting there. And on that note, we got for the first time, I think Cal confirming that, you know, mm -hmm. usually it, to this point, it's always been, will Ugo play? What's going to be, you know, his role? Or are they just going to register? When they first signed him, the goal was to register this kid. And he's just so far along. Cal continues to talk about his high basketball IQ, how he just, you know, has to teach him one thing, uh, you know, to say it once. And then he, he you know, it commits it to memory. Uh, this is the first time that Cal talked about, you know, Ugo will get minutes this year. He said sometimes Lance is going to do things that, you know, struggles a little bit, that Ugo is going to play better with a shot blocker. And then, you know, vice versa, he said, you know, in terms of toughness, things like that, that's not necessarily up, you know, Ugo's alley quite yet. And that's where, where Lance is going to get him at, uh, get minutes. So the first time I think Cal uh, acknowledged that Ugo will get playing time this year, which I think was, you know, it's, that's brand new news considering three months ago, we had no idea that he would even be on the roster. I feel like Ugo above the rim up here. Is this his view when he's swatting shots inside? That's about I'm right. I'm jealous. Yeah. Very jealous. Well, he's one of the many newcomers. We've had so many guests. we got to mention Chris Livingston, too. We're seeing so much from these guys in these exhibitions, getting our first looks at them. Livingston had 14 points, matching Frederick, who's one of the stars of the game. But six or seven from the field and hit a three-pointer. I still don't know exactly what Livingston is going to be, how they're going to use him, but I'm excited. He's, he's very versatile. And he talked about that after the game. He said, with these injuries, it's kind of given me the opportunity to play two through four. He, he said, that's kind of what I'm good at is you not knowing what I am yet. He said, you know, I can play, you know, the two, I can shoot threes. I can be, you know, stand on the corner and, you know, kind of be that fourth guard role on the team. Uh, but he said, but, you know, I'm also pretty comfortable playing the four. He said, I've never played the four uh, in my life. When he was at Oak Hill, he, you know, kind of played a fourth guard, you know, four guard role. Um, they, they kind of ran a dribble drive similar to what Cal runs here. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a, 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 you know, a unique thing to hear from him that, you know, he embraces the idea that people don't really know about him. And I think that's kind of what the, the beauty of Chris Livingston. It has been a blessing seeing these guys get some more opportunities they wouldn't normally get with some injuries, get a few extra minutes and run. But on Monday, it gets really real, Zach. We got the Howard, whatever they are. Bison. Bison. The Bison. 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 Yeah. Uh, coming in here for the first game of the regular season. We've got a small glimpse. You know, we won't have Oscar. Cal the other day tempered expectations. But what do you think it's going to look like game one? And then uh, I don't need your season prediction. Oh. How are you feeling heading into the season? Oh, we're doing season predictions. No, no, I'm saying we don't need your season predictions. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, record, <laughs> into, record and finish <laughs> NCAA tournament <laughs> finish. Heading into the first game just days away. Now that the preseason is officially behind us, how are you feeling and what do you think that first game will look like? Uh, well, it's kind of sounding like we're not going to have Savir either, mm -hmm. uh, just kind of from Cal's comment no Oscar. So I think we're going to kind of see what we saw tonight. Ideally, uh, just really fast offense, kind of move everything as quick as you can. Uh, get as many shooters on the floor as at once as you can. Uh, let Kaysen run the point guard. It's going to, I think, kind of just be what you've seen the last two games, but putting things might be a, a more uh, into effect a little bit more, maybe less Brandon Canada action, but <laughs> Be nice to see him that much on Monday. That'd yeah, be good I think we had a we had a bucket from uh, Mr. Walker Horn. I think scored or Brennan scored. I think Brennan five, 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 five two five buckets. points today. See, Walker I was, was, I was calling for the ball wide open for three, and they wouldn't get it to him. That's a mm. teammate issue. He he had his look, didn't get it. Maybe the chemistry is not as good as we think. See, concerns heading into Monday, <laughs> but for right now, we're here on the Rough Arena floor saying goodbye to the preseason. Goodbye, Big Blue Madness. Goodbye, Blue White. Goodbye, Missouri Western. Will Martin, Kentucky State. It gets real in a few days. For Drew Franklin, Zach Gagan, and Jack Pilgrim, it's another edition of the Rapid Reaction. Hit subscribe on the YouTube channel. Steven's still backing up. I feel like it's a cool outro. I don't want to stop talking. Go Cats. <laughs>